And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my room makeover series. If you haven't seen all the videos before this, they're gonna all be linked down below and they'll be in a playlist that's gonna be in the cards. So be sure to check those out because they're all kind of blended into each other from the start to the finish. But in today's episode, I'm gonna be doing the last part of my room with the supplies I have. I'm waiting for a few things to come for the rest of it. But I'm gonna be organizing my desk. I want it to be super simple, minimalist, clean. I just wanna have all the products that I truly use all the time right at hand so it can be super easy to get ready in the morning. Especially with my new routine, I wanna be getting ready every day to stay with things even if I'm stuck at home with how crazy things are right now, but you know, still feel put together. And so I think having a clean, minimalistic space is the first start to that. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring you guys along for organizing it, just time lapsing, chatting with y'all, having a good time. Also like, I don't know how to do this hairstyle yet. I'm wearing these tiny little braids because y'all know I have like literally no hair. But the thing about it is, I feel like taking the time we have right now to like work on like not putting heat on our hair, especially um, us as in me because I have damaged my hair to no end is good for me. So I just have like, I just showered and I just have these little wet braids in and I kind of feel like Laura Ingalls, but like Laura Ingalls would make it cool. This head scarf, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know about that, but we're just going with it. We're gonna not put heat on our hair. I mean, literally all I'm doing today is organizing this desk. So let's get on into it. Okay, let's get started just by moving this chair out of the way just so we can have the desk drawer open and get things going. Okay, next I just want to empty out this drawer. As you guys saw, I have like a bunch of stuff that we saw the other vlogs on the ground that needs to go on my desk. But I also have random stuff that I put in there while I was painting. So I need to get all that out because it all doesn't necessarily like need to be in my room. So let's just clear this out so we can make piles. We love a good sorting of piles. We're going to do it like the style of, you know, when you were young and you get your Halloween candy and you'd sort everything. We're going to be sorting everything, what we need, what we don't need, where it needs to go. Because we got to fit all my necessities into this tiny drawer. And you know, I'm extra. I have a lot of items. So let's do it. Okay, so the desk drawer is completely empty and the first thing I want to do is fill this tray up because I know this is gonna go inside. So I got this tray at, at home, I need to just rip this little paper off, but I plan on using it for my daily makeup. That way, oh, my dog really said, let's go crazy while she's filming a video break. I do. So I just thought that this would be like really simple, minimalistic looking, doesn't take up, you know, a lot of space. My typical storage is my caboodle, which I did recently have in a favorites video. It is still a favorite, but it's more of a college favorite because like, let's be real guys, I'm not going to be going and getting ready with friends right now. I can't see my friends. I'm in quarantine and I'm not going to be doing that for a while. So instead of having this where I can like portably take it with me and see like what makeup I actually use and only put the makeup I actually use in here. I also am going to grab a trash can because some of this is probably trash and also like, and then also like some of these like random lipsticks and stuff. Like I can throw these away because like I don't wear them. Um, it's all like from free gifts back in like seventh grade when I wanted to have a makeup collection Did anybody else do that? Like I literally watched youtubers who had like those makeup rooms It would show all the drawers So I kid you not I would not throw anything away Any like makeup trash my mom had Like 3, 4, 70 foundation I wanted to keep to put in my makeup collection So that I could like organize it I don't know Maybe I'm the only one and I sound crazy but, Like did any of you guys do that? Okay, so the makeup tray is done. I put all of my almost daily makeup in here and brushes and it just looks super clean and organized. I can see everything I'm working with as soon as I open it. No like digging around. And then and I just put all the makeup that I don't use every single day in this caboodle just to store and keep for when there is a special occasion or like I film when I want lipstick or something, I can get it out of here. I'm just gonna store this in like my family's bathroom under the sink because like I'll be using it when I go back to college. I'm not gonna throw it out or anything. Just for now, this tray is perfect. Okay, so next I'm going to actually go through the piles like I was talking about before on the floor. So time to sort through this stuff and see what of this is going inside my desk. Okay guys, so now I'm going to start putting this stuff into the desk. Also at the end of this video, I'm gonna give a quick brief desk tour and tell you guys where all this cutie stuff is from. But yeah, let's organize the inside. So I am 
waiting for buckets to come for this, like I said in my last video. Sorry, I'm out of frame right now, I'm grabbing stuff. But this little bucket on the bottom has all my hair stuff, so I'm just moving all my hair scarves and stuff out of my desk into here because I really switch up how I do my hair every day. So there's really no such thing as like everyday hair items for me as you guys have butterfly clips, scarves, all the things. Okay guys, so I finished my desk. It actually didn't take as much time and was much simpler than I expected. So this is kind of your motivation. If there's something you've been postponing, organizing, or doing, and you've been pushing it off, well now is the perfect time to do it. I mean, first of all, you're home much more than normal right now. And I mean, it usually doesn't even take as much as you think. Like this, I was like really dreading doing and it didn't even take that long to organize. And now it's gonna make my life so much better and so much cleaner. So now I'm gonna give you guys a little desk tour just to finish this video off. Um, stay tuned. Oh my gosh, my head scarf flew. She flew. Oh yeah, stay tuned for my bedroom tour. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm gonna also tell you guys where everything is from just in case you're running to shop one of the things because I think that it looks super cute. So this chair is from At Home. This rug is also from At Home. They have super affordable. Y'all saw me shop this, but I love this so much. It was literally like $20. And this chair, I'm not sure how much it was, I bought it a while ago, but it's such a timeless piece. I literally bought this like beginning of high school and I still am obsessed. This desk table is from Ikea. I love it because it does have a glass top, which I just think is amazing because makeup gets on it all the time and I can just quick clean it off instead of being like, oh, my desk is ruined. So over here we have my skincare fridge and my flowers. I actually made these flower arrangements for my senior prom. I did all the tables of them and so I got to take one home since I made them and it matches my room super well coincidentally because your girl's always been obsessed with pink and always is like, you know what, let's just make the theme pink. <laughs> this little mini fridge is from Walmart. I'm obsessed with that. I'll give you a peek inside but I'm going to do a skincare fridge tour with a skincare routine coming soon. I just have so many goodies. These are one of my current favorites. These Wonder eye masks. I just feel so bougie using them. Like little gold eye mask so fun and I just have so many so many goodies in there I love it and it's also just so aesthetically pleasing to use and to have Ooh. also get this from Walmart not Amazon if you want one because they'd be so much cheaper this was literally like 30 to 50 dollars I think it was literally like 30 dollars so love that this mirror, I have no idea where it's from because it was literally in my sister's room when she was in like sixth grade. But it's not attached to the desk. I just put it in the middle so it kind of looks like a vanity table. And then I got this from at home in the shopping video. It has a normal side and a zoom side. Like, nobody wants to see themselves like that. Ugh, double chin season. But I think it's super cute. I like the wood. I think it goes with the overall theme of my room really well. Okay, now to see how I organize this. There is a lot going on, but... Keep in mind, this is the little only organization I have in my room, so... First of all, I have my makeup organizer. I'm gonna just be taking this in and out, I think, when I get ready. Because, I mean, some of it is kind of far back. This drawer does not come out all the way. And then right here, I have all my book type things. So I have Love Does by Bob Goff, which is my current read. It's like a little devotional, but more of a story. I really think even if you aren't religious, you would enjoy this book. I have my iPad, which is really great for emails, business stuff watching YouTube obviously um, my planner and then I just have a notepad because I'm a big big to-do list girl so yeah also all these stickers are from all things Lillian she has a podcast with Haley Pham who's a youtuber and also all things Lillian's a youtuber now so obsessed with that all my like internet-y things so my airpods um, and my SD card reader contacts I just have medicines in the back self tanner teeth whitener like self-care type things and then I have a glasses case in case I'm on the go. And then my essential everyday things like my everyday lotion and my deodorant and my brush. And then I just have these sugar cubes for a bath, which I think will be fun to use while I'm home since obviously at college I didn't have a bath and I got them all at college. So these are just kind of a random, not essential, but they're chill and they'll be fun. And then my favorite scented lotion, which is fresh sparkling snow. It may not be winter, but it still always wins in my book. So, you know. All right, and then under my desk, I do just keep a tripod, you know, YouTube life. And then I also keep my yellow backpack because hashtag we all be online students these days. So, oh my gosh, my sock is also gross. I cannot believe I just showed you that. It's literally like my toe is about to peep through and I'm like, hey, internet. Okay, guys, so that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Also, if I was looking at the viewfinder a lot, 
I probably was. My camera is being a crackhead about focusing and I don't know why. So if any tips for that, comment down below. I think it's just because it's old or figuring it out. I feel like I have to focus it so much as you see me touching it. And I feel like it makes me always be looking at myself because I'm worried that like it looks bad, you know? You know. Okay, I'm gonna go. You guys can tell I'm super chatty and random today because I haven't been able to hang out with people. So I'm going a little crazy, but we're making the best of it. And having a clean room makes me super happy. And it makes just me be more productive. Like who doesn't want to like sit here and work like this? this is so aesthetic. I love it. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Someone make me stop talking. Bye guys.